Happy Family Literacy Day! Welcome to Oxford Outdoors. In this video, Oxford County Library is partnering with Woodstock Public Library and Oxford Early On to show you and your family some fun activities you can do outside to learn in the great outdoors. Our theme for Family Literacy Day 2022. Let's get started. We're gonna show you three different activities and some resources from our organizations that'll help you get outside bundled up and having some fun with us this winter. Are you ready? To make popsicle story puppets, you will need some permanent markers such as these colorful Sharpies here. And you can also visit your local dollar store to pick up some large tongue depressors or popsicle sticks. Or you can sometimes find at craft stores these ones that are in shapes of people or animals. You might want to look at your favorite story. I'm looking at the book Nico Draws a Feeling by Bob Ruxa, one of my favorites, in order to create some of the characters from my favorite story. So you can draw characters on the popsicle sticks and color them in as I'm doing here. And because they're gonna be on ice, I've given them little ice skates so they can look like they're skating outdoors. And I've also done some animals that are in my story. I'm now in the kitchen and I have all my finished popsicle characters. And I have a baking dish that's filled with styrofoam cups and the baking dish will help them not fall over in the freezer. I filled those styrofoam cups just over halfway with water. I also have a pair of scissors, some food coloring of your choice, and some aluminum foil that I've cut into rectangles. Our first step is going to be to add some food coloring to color the water. So I'm making some that are blue and some that are blue green, a turquoise color. Then I'm going to take my sheet of aluminum foil, the rectangle and fold it in half once. And I'm going to fold it in half again. And using my scissors, I'm going to add a small slit to the middle and then unfold my square. That slit is going to be so our popsicle can fit through and the aluminum foil is going to help our popsicle stick not fall over. So we're going to put that over the top of the styrofoam cup with the slit in the middle and then place our popsicle stick in through that slit in the top. And make sure our character is standing up straight and then put that into our baking dish and then we're going to repeat this with all of our characters until they're all finished and we're going to take our baking dish and put it in the freezer overnight you are almost ready to play you can take your characters outside remove the tin foil and it helps to cut a slit down the front of the styrofoam cup to easily pop your characters out. Then you're ready to play. You can recreate stories. You can have them slide on icy sidewalks or in the snow. And if you make this project, I hope you'll share with us on Facebook or Instagram. Brand new to our collection at Oxford County Library are snowshoes that you can borrow to have fun outside with your family. We have both juvenile and adult snowshoes ready to borrow. A couple of things to keep in mind when you're looking to check out a pair of snowshoes. You want to look to make sure you're ordering the right kind. So whether it's an adult or juvenile pair, the size of your shoe and be mindful of the weight. So the weight for a particular snowshoe is the weight of your person, but also includes your clothing, your winter clothing, your footwear, and in any gear when you're gonna be outside. So if you're carrying a backpack or things with you, is gonna be the total weight that you're gonna look at when you're ordering the correct kind of snowshoe. 
Also let someone know if you're going out by yourself or with your family, how long you're going to be, where you're going to be going, and when you're coming back for safety. We also have great things to borrow with the snowshoes, including the hiking poles you saw me using, our hiking backpacks that have binoculars, a compass, and some resources, and great books. Hope to see you outside in snowshoes. Happy Family Literacy Day! Hello everyone, I'm Heather. And I'm Lily. And we're from the Woodstock Public Library. Today we're gonna make some ice sun catchers. Let's get started and we'll show you how. So now that we're in the green outdoors, we're going to head out and we're going to take a look for some cool stuff to add to it. So come along with us. As you can see, we found all our materials outside. So now we're going to put them in the pan. And now we're going to add some water. So now you can put this in the freezer. So or I'll just stick this in the freezer. All right, so our ice sun catcher should be frozen at this point. So let's go take a look. So this is our ice sun catcher. It's fully frozen. So I've already used a knife. So this has gently come out and I will show you what it looks like. So this is our finished ice sun catcher. It's gonna look so nice when it's outside and the sun's shining through. So we have some options. If you happen to have a drill at home, you can get a parent to drill a hole into it, then get some twine to put through the hole and you can hang it on a tree. If you don't have a drill, that's okay. You can put this on display at your porch, on your deck, on your balcony. So we're going to get started. We are going to put a hole in our sun catcher. I'm going to put it a little bit down from the top. That way as it melts, you're not gonna be likely to have it fall from the tree as quickly. So I'm gonna find a spot. We're gonna get drilling. Here we go. And now that we've got it through, we're going to add some twine. All right, so we are back outside again with our ice sun catcher. We have attached the twine and we're ready to hang it. And there you have it, our ice sun catcher. Thanks for tuning in. We hope you enjoy making these sun catchers. We wish you all a very happy Family Literacy Day, and we hope you get outside and enjoy the outdoors. Bye, everyone. The library has a number of wintry themed stories, as well as books that include a number of snowy experiments. So hop online, place a hold, and pick up at curbside today. In addition, why not sign up for the Forest of Reading program, Canada's largest recreational reading program for children. For more information on the Forest of Reading, as well as our other virtual programs, visit www.mywpl.ca. Welcome to Kinsman Partissa Park in Tilsonburg. Come on down and discover the new early on story stroll Bundle up with your family and have a great time discovering this beautiful trail. Dance like snowflakes, dance like snowflakes in the air, in the air. Whirling, twirling snowflakes, whirling, twirling snowflakes everywhere, everywhere. What can you see 
hear, feel, taste, or smell when you come to Tilsonburg Story Stroll. Come and find out. What do snowmen eat for breakfast? Frosted flakes! Ha ha ha! Happy Family Literacy Day from the Oxford Earlyon team. How is your family going to learn in the great outdoors? <laughs> <laughs>